Good morning. As we're uh, working on my bike, they're working on my bike with uh, the cruise control. There's actually a, bino, a dyno uh, session running over here. It's a 2023 Lowrider S that has a stock engine. All he did is, actually it's even the stock air cleaner. What he did is he changed the exhaust to shorts. Uh, two into two shorts over here. I think it's, what is it, an SNS or... Thanks to you guys, I'm getting a lot, a lot of comments. Thank you very much. But just know that because of so much work, comments, and a busy schedule, I can't go over all the comments. That's why I use this filter. I go to my comments, I tick off. If you're subscribed to me, if you're subscribed to me, I actually see your comments. Those are the people I reply to. Whoever is not subscribed, thank you for uh, commenting anyway, but I can't really get, I don't have time to see all your comments. So please subscribe to the channel, help me grow. That's it, let's go back. Bassani. Bassani. Oh, Bassani, sorry. Bassani, short, uh, what, what is the model name of the Bassani? Well, I don't remember. Don't remember. I'm not I'll sure. yeah. What are they called? I'm not sure what they are. Okay, I'll check them out. I'll have a link below anyway. Uh, but, uh, so he didn't do engine work, he just stock engine and just came to tune it. And you, you'll see right now, when we run this session, how much he actually improved in terms of performance and making the right uh right fuel air to fuel ratio so the bike runs cooler and safer long term so take a look at the session mike is dyno tuning this low rider s of the short pipes the stock tune is very lean he has to add throw some fuel at it um, I cut my own hair with the like the electric machine and I just realized I went to blow my nose in the bathroom just realized this whole video I just saw in the mirror I had this long piece of hair Hank sticking on my head like a schmuck I'll probably look in this video 
Anyway, hopefully I just got it. Yeah. Let me check again. What numbers did you get out of it? Um, I'm calling it. I'm calling it 100 and 123. Is this 122.93? Yeah. You always take an average, so our last run before that was 100, 123, so. Right, so 100, 100 horsepower, 123 yeah. on the, on on the torque. torque. Yeah. Now we're talking about a stage one, maybe not even. Is it right. a stage one? It's a, it's a stage one. This is where it came in at 90 horsepower, 117.8. It came in at 90? Yeah. And 117? Right, so we're leaving at, you know, 99, 120. So we gained a almost a 10, 10 horsepower. 10 horse and how many on the tour? One and about uh, Eight, six. Six on the tour. You gained, gained 10 horsepower, six on the torque, just from the custom tune. Nothing changed. That shows you like. Here's the important part. So when he was running down the highway, cracking his throttle open, yeah. as soon as he hit 3,000 RPM, this thing was just sailing away up into AFRs, up into the 16s, and then coming back down. That's, that's what lean. That's lean. That's extremely lean. The whole yeah, bike was not lean. healthy for the bike. Heats right. up and everything. Running hot. So now this is how it's leaving. That's as straight as oh, an arrow. Straight line. line. And you gain power and gain yep. torque, so that's that's good. Right. That's very good. That just shows you, even if you don't do engine work, no fancy engine work, even a stage one, uh, simply the exhaust that he had. Uh, it's a short exhaust now letting uh, affecting the back pressure and everything it affected the the actually the bike running lean probably it was a short pipe so that's why the bike was running really lean, lean. it was even idling lean when yeah. it first came in so yeah. now we're right where we should be so just even a basic custom tune just increases your performance and pretty much saves your bike because now it's running cooler i would say right so the running cooler uh, we were the speed limiter has been pumped from 112 to 158, and the RPM limit's been pushed to 6400 RPM. There you go. And that is what with the with the dyno uh, the dyno, dyno jet power a dyno jet uh, map that he bought. No, I created a custom map okay. and then auto tuned the bike. Got you. Okay, Mike from Tour Custom Cycles. You know where to get him. Thank you, buddy. Enjoy the bike, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bike would have been here and base ran before uh, the exhaust was even on. I probably would have saw. We probably would. You would have noticed larger gains. I'm gonna see right now if I could find a uh, if I could find a base in here that I have maybe stored somewhere. What this kind of bike, this kind of setup? Yeah. Um, all right. So right around. So a base. So a base setup is around 90 horsepower. So yeah, and about 108 on the tour. So yeah, you so got he got one. This is a base setup, 90 horsepower, 108 on the tour. So he really went to 99 or say 100 and 123. Yeah. So the if this this is your factory uh, right there. Yeah, what you just said. Right. right. When he first came in, he had the exhaust on there already. So that's why his torque number was a little higher, about yeah. 117. Right. So, but that is your factory. Because I just pulled this from another 23 Lowrider ST that came yeah. in the factory. 90 and 100. 90 and 108. 108. So 90 and 108. Point we're trying to make over here is the bike is gonna, the bike, the tune that you have on the bike after you make a change is okay, it's gonna work. It's not gonna hurt the bike immediately. But if you custom tune it, you have a dyno tuned, you're going to get your performance back uh, to where it should be in terms of air to fuel ratio. The longevity of the engine is going to be good. And if it's uh, actually an upgrade that enhances performance, you're going to be gaining more power, more torque. So what I'll show you here now is, okay, there's your stock bike versus there. That's a stock. The top chart is a stock bike right out of the factory. Stock exhaust from Harley Davidson. 90? 90, 90 and 108. 108, yeah. He's at 99 and 122.9, which is oh, yeah. essentially just, just from the exhaust and from your tune. Correct. Your custom, your custom tune. Yep. And you actually uh, got it cooler because it was running really lean. It was lean. running very lean. Yeah, okay. My point of this video is to sh just to show you that Every bike, even when it comes stock from Harley, smallest tweaks you do on the bike, you can always enjoy a custom tune 
that would actually, because all, not all bikes were made the same, not all bikes are, are, uh, are the same, they're, to have, they're slightly different, the engine character and the parameters, so having it a custom tuned always gives you the max, max performance and longevity of the engine. Just to show you here, a simple case of exhaust being changed made such a difference and by uh, having this custom tune on it, increased the power by uh, almost 10% and the torque by like six, uh, six units. Just think about it.